Hello everyone, and welcome back. Um, today we will um, finish up our lesson here on solving radical equations. Okay, again, same strategy applies as we have been looking at in the earlier problems where we're just gonna isolate the radical <coughs> and square both sides and solve. Okay, so <coughs> here again, two radicals. You can isolate whichever one you want. I'm just gonna go ahead and isolate the root x plus five from both sides. Okay, and of course at any time, <laughs> Once you feel like you got the hang of it, or you just want to check to see if you understand, pause the video, try doing the next step on your own, and then replay the video to see, you know, how you do, okay? So this would be a good point to do it right here. Pause the video from here, and go ahead and try it on your own, as far as you think you can get. Okay, so we're left with the root x minus 3 there. We'll have the 4 minus root x plus 5 here. We'll go ahead and square both sides. <coughs> So we get x minus 3 equals, and when we square this out, and we're going to multiply it by itself, I'll do that work up here. So 4 minus root x plus 5 times 4 minus root x plus 5. When we multiply there, we're going to get 16, right? 4 times 4, and then 4 times minus root x plus 5, so minus 4 root x plus 5. Minus 4 times root x plus 5. <coughs> And then minus root x plus 5 times minus root x plus 5 is going to be a positive root x plus 5 squared. <clears throat> so then we'll have 16 minus 8 root x plus 5 uh, plus x plus 5. Okay, let's combine some, oops, some like terms over here. So um, 16 and the 8, remember that 8 is attached to this root x plus 5, so they don't go together. But um, we can do the 16 and the 5, they'll go together, and that makes 21 minus 8 root x plus 5 uh, plus x. So now we can start solving. Let's subtract x on both sides, because again, since we have this square root, we'll need to isolate that square root one more time. Let's also subtract 21 from both sides. <clears throat> so now we have negative 8 times root x plus 5 equals, well, the x's cancel, and we'll have just a negative 24 there. Okay, we can divide both sides by negative 8. It's not necessary. You could just square at, at this current step that we're on right here. You could square both sides if you wanted to, but dividing will lower the numbers, and we do get a nice <coughs> a whole number here when we divide, so we get 3. And root x plus 5. Okay, go up here. If we square both sides, we'll get 9 equals x plus 5, and so x equals 4. Okay, if we check our work, thusly, 4 minus 3 is root 1, 4 plus 5 is 9, so we get 1 plus 3, which is 4, and check that works. <clears throat> Alright, next one, last one. Okay, same thing here, we already have the um, radical isolated, so let's just go ahead and square both sides here. So we'll have um, 3 plus the square root of x times 3 plus the square root of x equals x plus 81. <clears throat> so it'll be 9, 3 times 3. 3 times root x will be a 3 root x. Um, x. Root x times 3 is another 3 root x. And then root x times root x is just root x quantity squared. Okay, now um, we'll simplify here. So we'll have x plus 6 root x. I'm going to kind of write it in like somewhat of a standard form here, plus 9 equals x plus 81. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, subtract 9 on both sides. Subtract x on both sides. Um, and then we'll get, well, the x's will cancel, so we'll just have a 72 here, and then 6 root x there. Okay. 72 divided by 6 on both sides here. We'll have root x equals 12, so squaring both sides, we get x equals 144. Okay, checking our work, 3 plus the square root of 144 equals square root of 144 plus 81. This is 12, we already know, so it'll be 3 plus 12, or 15. And then 144 plus 81, <clears throat> the square root of 225. And that'll give us then 15. Check, it works, so that is the correct answer. All right, so thanks guys. We'll see you in the next module, module six.